Hey guys, it's Lava Lamp. I think it's time we get a new tutorial about rendering pictures because it's been a long time since my last tutorial. <laughs> it's actually been years, so I think it's due time that we get this updated a bit. Uh, now, what you might be doing right now is printing screen to get a screenshot of your picture. You can do that, although you will be losing some great detailing on the uh, mostly the eyelashes, the hair, the eyebrows, and the clothing shadows. So, getting this working isn't very hard to do, you just have to enter the right values because you might enter to, uh, some values that are too high for your PC and what will inevitably crash your game. So what we're going to be doing now is taking a print screen of the screenshot right now. So you can't see it but I took a screenshot. Now I'm going to press F1. Well, you should press F1 too to open your mods tab. Now you're going to get a lot of mods over here. So just scroll down until you see screenshot manager 16.4. It might not be 16.4 for you. If you're having trouble finding this tab, just type over here, screen, shot, and you should be um, getting the first one over here. So what I want you to do right now is to look at these settings over here and copy them. I'm not here to say one setting is better than the other. I'm just showing how I do it. And this is what the settings I use over here. Now, what I do not want you to do as you see this over here, the up sampling ratio, you can put this to 2, you can put this to 3 or 4, but I do not recommend um, putting the settings to the max because there is a reason why you would want to tweak these settings. If you put them too high, as I mentioned earlier, you are going to crash your game and you are not going to be able to recover what you have made unless you've saved it. So if you are going to play with these settings, be sure to save your scenes before playing with them. So, I like to render my scenes in 4K, so I use 2160 pixels by 3840, which is pretty okay for me. And by the way, you cannot get this, um, this level of pixel uh, by simply print screening. This is entirely rendered with the screenshot manager. So yeah, there are uh, still interesting things over here. You can capture a screenshot um, by, um, you can set what key you're gonna be uh, screenshotting. So you can get a normal screenshot over here with F9 or you can capture a rendered screenshot with F11. I never change these because I think these are pretty um, good the way they are. They are. You can also um, disable your ambient occlusion over here. You can also render the alpha which will cut the background from your characters which can be actually pretty interesting in some cases. So yeah, this is pretty much it. For now, press F11 to take a screenshot. So now that we have our screenshot, let's go back into Photoshop to compare the two. Okay, so now I'm in Photoshop. I have my, let me just rename this. I don't know who's testing me, but uh, it's getting pretty annoying. I'm gonna rename this one Print Screen. And this one will be named Rendered. So this over here, as you can see, is my print screen version. Let me zoom in to show you how intensively you can see the difference. You'll see the difference with the hair over here. It's easy to see the difference, huh? You are losing an incredible amount of details when you only print screen. As I said earlier, you can also see, you can mostly see that in the hair. Even the lips over here. You can see we're missing a lot of details when we're only print screening. Anyway, I hope this was useful. If you have any question whatsoever, do not hesitate to ask in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer you as soon as possible. This was Level M22, thanks for watching guys.